Mark, these two sides, we saw each other twice last year, each able to pull a victory on the other's home ground. And the kick not going to the requisite 10 meters. Advantage for Seattle, you hear Schneider saying, the bind changed. Trying to find a way through, Lopetti that time. Still shy of the try line. Heavy carry across, and there it is. Seattle finds the opening points. Last week, who's all time the highest scoring team in the league, is clean line out taken. Mall form. Fans exhorting their side. Can the Seawolves find the opening points? Advantage for Seattle, you hear Schneider saying, the bind changed. Trying to find a way through, Lopetti that time. Still shy of the try line. Heavy carry across, and there it is. Seattle finds the opening points. That is just the result of mounting pressure, and it didn't take Seattle long at all. Once they got out of their own red zone, nothing fancy at the moment for Seattle, and it is effective. Alatimu raises the flags. Lubsa up and through, but they need support. Comes at Meta immediately, and here comes Malcolm. Malcolm just meters away. Lopetti, out it goes, able to find Penny Nakai Penny. But let's talk about the try again. Lepetti with the pass out wide saw, I mean, the vision of Lepetti to see Nakai Penny in the corner. Alatimu up and through. Successful on the conversion, and Seattle on top, 14 to three. The way their defense is playing, I don't know that Utah will be able to find a way back. Alatimu raises the flags. He stays perfect. A massive three points for the Seawolves. Utah inching closer to that try line. Lance Williams trying to get across. Williams. Stay inside. Stay inside. Utah right there. Still short. No. Across and down the try from the Warriors on the second attempt. Take another look at the try, all set up by Mikey Teo. You see what he can do. All the focus, the eyes on at number 14. That frees things up for his teammates. Two successful conversions, one successful penalty goal. Plenty of distance. And the accuracy from Alatimu puts the Sea Wolves back up by 10. McKinney unable to find any space. Bunavuli. Quickly there, Saunders. Vandenberg trying to get it out wide. They will into the hands of Goff. Chad Goff through one. A hooker, Chad Goff. And then this. This is what we couldn't believe. And especially when Ross Neal comes across. Goes a little bit too low. And then the shimmy beating Alatimu. Are ready or not? Just check with them. He's got it. Levin Lubsa splits the uprights, and we are back to a three-point game. Two minutes remaining. Set. You see it. Smith sends it to touch, and there is the final whistle. The seawall holds. And the Seawolves start the season 2-0. Two massive victories in front of the home fans here at Starfire and Tuckwilla.